Today's lecture will talk about some of the core ethical values that are involved in practicing medicine. Now there are four core ethical values that encompass all of the other basic values in medicine. The first of which is autonomy. Autonomy is defined as the obligation to respect patients as individuals. Our duty is to honor their preference in accepting or not accepting medical care. In order to do this, we must create conditions necessary for autonomous choices to be available to the patient. In doing this, we need to include the patient in the decision-making process, and the patient has the final say. What we need to understand about autonomy is that sometimes we may have the best treatment option for a patient, yet they always have the option to refuse it. The patient has the final say. Beneficence. Beneficence is the ethical duty to act in a patient's best interest. Now sometimes this may interfere with patient autonomy. This may also interfere for what is best for society and traditionally a patient's interest supersedes society's view. Now with beneficence, Again, sometimes we may have the best treatment option available for the patient and in the patient's best interest, but this can interfere with patient autonomy, which obviously in this situation, the autonomy would trump the beneficence. And sometimes it can affect for what is uh, best for society. An example could be performing a research on a new type of drug that could benefit all of society. However, it can affect the beneficence of the patient because it may provide uh, a certain amount of risk or harm to the test subjects. So in that situation, the patient's interest supersedes society's view. So you would not be able to conduct that type of harmful or risky uh, research. Up next, we have non-maleficence, which is essentially the opposite of beneficence, which says, do no harm. Now, this must be balanced with beneficence in the sense that if the benefits outweigh the risks, a patient may make an informed decision to continue with recommended treatment. In this situation, when we uh, advise a patient on a particular treatment or a particular surgery or a particular medication, we need to allow them to be aware of all the benefits, all the risks, all the adverse drug effects, all of the possible side effects. And after they have been informed, then they are able to make an informed decision and use their patient autonomy to make the final decision. And finally, justice. Justice is to treat persons fairly and equally. This does not always imply equality, and the example here is a triage system, where patients are treated based on the severity of symptoms. And we've all seen this in the emergency department, when you have uh, someone who's cut their finger really badly versus someone who is unable to breathe very well. Obviously, the person who has the more severe symptoms is going to be treated first, and this is an example of justice. And as physicians, we are expected to treat our patients in a fair and just society. Now, all four of these core values all interact with one another and sometimes conflict with one another. But as physicians, it is our duty to be able to find the best option available and use these four as tools to help guide us in making the best option in every single, single clinical scenario in which we encounter. And these are the core ethical values of medicine.